Good morning, honey. Hi. It's day 10. We're packing. Uh, we ran down, had breakfast real quick, enjoying our views from here for one last morning. It's a beautiful morning, though. Uh, sun shining, they had a good rain last night, thunderstorm, yeah. and watching lightning out over that was was pretty awesome um so yeah we're packing up currently performing surgery um the sd card from my phone corrupted when we were in o'hare yep. on the way here started not being able to access files on my sd card lost all my audible books which was heartbreaking because i was planning on using those on the plane um had a couple hundred books downloaded i think i was left with like two that were still saved on my phone and not the sd card and this is the first time i've had a freaking pin this was the best thing we could get today to take the tray out of the phone so I can get my SD card out. So currently backing everything up off my SD card was corrupted. I was able to run scan disk, fix the file system without losing everything. So backing that up now. And I forgot the login information for my network storage device at home, which I should be able to remote into and drop all my files. I have like 10 terabytes of storage space there. But for now, the laptop's gonna have to work for the backup since I don't remember how to log in. So we're gonna pack and then we're gonna jump in the car, get an update of how many miles slash kilometers we drove the other day. Today is gonna be a bit of a hike. We haven't decided where our pit stops are going to be on our way to Lucerne. Uh, we did book a hotel there, which we should have decent views. We found another hotel there after we booked it that we would love to stay at, but there is just oh. no way, no way uh, that we could justify the cost of the room there. Room with a lake view there starts at 2000 and goes up to 3500 for one night. No thank you. That is outside of my comfort level of spending for a room significantly. But on the way, we kind of want to try and get into Interlochen just to see it. Um, if not, we found a couple of waterfalls along the route that we'll poke into. So yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in the car and say goodbye to Lugano. I don't know if the GoPro is going to do it justice, but it's just beautiful. And Kevin, if you ever watch this video, that's your doppelganger, bro, walking across the street. No kidding, we ran into him at breakfast. He's, Andrew's going to try and get his picture, but he's, he's across the street now. <coughs> He's you, dude. Uh, he's you, but wearing Prada instead of the overalls. Hysterical, same long hair, same glasses, same like to a T, it's you, Kevin. Uh, it's the Italian you. Couldn't believe he was walking across the street as I had the GoPro. So yes, we'll catch up with you guys in a car shortly. We are on the road. We had some construction traffic for a little bit and it looks like we've got some traffic up closer to Lucerne, but here we just pop you guys out real quick. They definitely have speed cameras because I have received at least one speeding ticket. The letter that they sent me uh, was a copy from the Icelandic police, which is not in English, and they said that they will be mailing an English version to our house. So by the time we get home, there's probably going to be a speeding ticket there. And from what I can tell online, they range between like three and six hundred dollars US. Once converted, that's a little rough. I tell you guys, my rash, whatever in the world it was, hives, who knows is going down much better I don't I don't itch like crazy today um, and on my forearms is pretty much gone um, and the inside of like my my biceps and triceps still up a little bit but crazy <laughs> She picked this and threw it on the map. So if we don't make it and somebody finds the GoPro, um, it's her fault. <laughs> it she Google did search. it. Random Google search. All right, I'm cutting you guys off enough because this road's getting even narrower. No. No. Nope. He says no. Okay. 
He said we can't go the way we need to go, so I don't know how we're gonna get there. <laughs> oh my god, that was just 38 minutes. It just changed to 40 minutes because we can't go that way. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. Oops. There is Oops. <laughs> <laughs> there is no guardrail here if you go oopsies. Holy but Jeebus. Well, update. There is no alternate route to that waterfall. Uh, my GPS was taking us to the bottom of the mountain on this road, turning around, coming back up the mountain, and turning down the same road. The gentleman in the orange jumpsuit said, no, we are continuing on what I'm going to nickname Death Road. <laughs> As you'll see, there is barely room for one car and actually we have a lot of room right now, but there's been multiple spots already that it is pavement with nothing, like nothing. Like right here, for instance, here's the pavement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little stoppy stop here so you guys can see. There's the pavement. There's about a foot of grass at an angle and cliff. Straight freaking down. This is unbelievable. I mean, gorgeous drive, but freaking nerve wracking. So we've been seeing these like random benches off the side of the road. So we've decided to park and see what this bench is all about. And somebody has definitely had a little, little campfire here. Holy, yeah, absolutely unbelievable views. I hope the GoPro can do at least a little bit of justice to what we get to see here. Well, you could see down in the valley, like just bright green grass with the sun shining on it. This is a breathtaking view from up here. All right. We'll forgive her. This is once. Oh, that's forgive it. her this once uh, for taking us on this adventure to a waterfall that we don't get to see. Well, the reviews were. Although this is better than in Puerto Rico, where we were hunting for a waterfall, oh. we made it into a town where a very nice elderly couple told us, "You turn around, you leave right now, or they kidnap her, or kill you." <laughs> Apparently, it was a bad part of town we ended up in. So. Um, we made it out and apparently we just made one wrong turn. We got back in the car, found our other turn and made it to the waterfall. It was a crappy waterfall. Um, so I guess eh, this isn't as bad. so far out here with big dam windmills and just a total different look uh, on these mountains than all the mountains you guys have ventured through with us so far better video found a quick spot to park you can see glaciers up on the top of that one but tell me this doesn't just look like a little like if it was snowing if this wasn't like a little christmas village down in the valley here until you get like the city area back there but unbelievable <laughs> Ten minutes to go and only about five kilometers. So I feel like we're gonna be sitting in a fair amount of traffic. We're almost there. It says one minute. Right there. And we will arrive. Ah oh, yeah, there we are. It turns out 
that lake that we said was really big before that tunnel that we went through that was really long and the lake was still there yep it's still the same lake and yeah driving through here is interesting between motorcycles pedal bikes people buses everything You'd be on your p's and q's actually you'd be on your toes not mind your p's and q's that makes no big sense all right, we just checked in to our sixth, I think, and final hotel for the trip. Five hotels here, one in Zurich, Silva Plana, St. Moritz. Oh yeah, four hotels here, I can't count. Four here, one in Iceland. This is now number six total. Uh, we got this little like, sitting area right here, and this one's definitely a little bit more modern than our last couple. We got a little water closet there. Snacks. She found snacks. Okay, I'm throw you. Um, we got spoiled. The mini bar and snacks here we pay for the last couple hotels have all been included. We got our bed with a phenomenal view out there, which I'll show you in a second. And then the other part of the bathroom with a proper shower that has a door so you don't flood freaking everything. The thing that matters the most is what you get to look at. boat which we might do um, but it does not come with a captain it means I have to captain it myself and I haven't driven a boat in probably like 12 or 13 years so um, well you know that's not true I got stuck driving uh, like a 42 foot or 46 foot in a wind and rainstorm on Lake Michigan because everybody else was drunk and I almost capsized the boat coming into the inlet. <laughs> it was all bad, all bad. Uh, that's what they get for leaving me in charge while everybody else gets drunk. It's just a bad idea. So I think we might, it's like 80 Swiss franc an hour to rent the boat. Maybe we rent it and we just go out and cruise. But this lake is far, far more busy than Lugano was. I don't know, so we'll pick up with you guys when we figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> OMG. Uh, George Michael. I love her. She... <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. <laughs> Great way to park. They took both lanes so people can barely get out. So I guess we're going to find the oldest bridge in Europe. Yes. Is what wooden she bridge. said. The wooden bridge. The oldest wooden bridge in Europe. I uh, I did just try and extend our trip. Um, we're going home tomorrow, Saturday. So I tried to push the flights from Iceland home to Sunday before I moved our flights from Zurich to Iceland back to Sunday. And by the time we were done moving flights and buying another hotel night and rental car, it was gonna be over two grand just for one more day. And I just, ah, it's been an expensive trip as it is. Two grand for one day, not worth it. But what I didn't realize before was there's a lot of golf courses around here so we could easily go off for a day, go ahead and take the boat out for a day and just go sightseeing and find some waterfall. So next time maybe we will do a full two weeks when we take one of these trips. We'll see. Well, parking is an adventure here. We saw the bridge driving by it while we're trying to actually get to it on foot. I think we went up to the train station. Yep, there's definitely the train station. This little town looks awesome on the water. The bridge we're looking for is that one there. So we just got to get across the street somehow. And there goes the chalk 992 GT3. I liked my Agat Gray more than the chalk. I should have kept that car. I'm working on this whole trip, working with dealerships to get the new GT3 RS ordered. Currently number two on a list um, at a ridiculous ADM. Um, when you're having to commit, you know, six figure over sticker to buy a car right now, it's, it's freaking ballistic. Makes no sense. Yeah, I'm gonna stay out of that store. That's dangerous. That is the oldest wooden bridge in Europe. Seems to be an info board over here. And you can see how much the wood legs have gotten eaten. The water's super clear. Out my wife today. It's gorgeous. So before the, I guess there was a fire in 1993 that burnt a large section of the bridge. And the original sections all had these paintings from years and years. There's 1743. So the new sections of bridge have no paintings uh, to symbolize the loss to Lucerne and to Switzerland uh, from that fire. Because these are all historic paintings. And then you can see right the new section of bridges where there's nothing terrible. And 
now we're getting back to the old section of bridge where the paintings survive. <laughs> Oh, there's a big fish down there. I don't know if you guys oh, will be able to see it. That water is clear as could be. There's a bunch of fish. It's super clear. looking building up there. It's nice to see that they kept a uh, pretty historic look of buildings along the river here. We've noticed a lot of floral arrangements while in Switzerland that are all very, very beautiful. We got ducks doing duck things. You probably can't see it, but if you look between these buildings here, that building actually looks like it's slanted off to the side just a wee bit, not quite straight. I'm curious to know how old these buildings are down here. Just that one up there is just nuts. Alright, so there's like parts of a what would be an old school castle and like wall system. There's one there, one there, and that has like one big wall that goes all the way around. No clue what it is. Okay. I have not yet seen an art gallery here. I'm gonna need one more piece of art, but I hear the thunder roaring in the background, so it might be about out of time. Yeah, we had to give up on the uh, hunt for art hurricane because <laughs> she keeps saying hurricane coming. We keep hearing thunder, and now that we're actually out of the little town there, we see it. Hey, Nettleby. It's coming over the mountain, and it's making shit disappear as it goes. Woo! We need to get back to the train station over yonder, because of course we do not have umbrellas. So we are on the long stride hustle. What a cool entryway. going to video through this crowd of people so I don't run into anybody but get in our car head back to the hotel well their parking garage here is very efficient on space there seems to be a traffic jam leaving I'm guessing a bunch of trains came in at once and everybody that was out in the city center saw the storm coming and was like F this I'm out I bail seriously they use like every square inch of their parking garages it's impressive we did make it just in time barely barely all right the hard rain has definitely turned into a uh, pouring rain. I feel so bad. We've seen so many people running from buses and public transport. I didn't think about that until now, about that being a downfall of using public transportation. If the weather doesn't cooperate, you're kind of SOL. Okay, the car's mad. Oh, I don't know where we're at. We're trying to find the Google pin. Uh, I think we're rolling into somebody's private property because we can't read uh, German signs. So, um, yeah, yeah, welcome to our adventures. Yeah, go straight. Like, Google thinks we're cool. Like, Google is all good with what we're doing. I'm just unsure other people are going to be good with what we're doing. Sometimes we adventure and get reserved for guests in, yeah, in places we're not supposed to be. This might be one of those. But I swear I just saw a sign that said what we're looking for on a little walking path. So I'm gonna go back and check it out. Adventure continues. But we keep finding different types of environment to drive through. Now we're in a forest. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Almost ran a bike over. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Parking. Nope, I'm definitely not supposed to Your destination to is on the left. No. These are all walking paths. These are all walking paths. Hello. Uh, do you parking? No, not here. Not here? The parking is uh, for um, the left side. Left side? Yeah. Okay, so turn yeah. around and go back. Yeah. Grazie. Yep, we're not supposed to be here. Yep, we definitely were where we weren't supposed to be. Well, you, when you travel, do you just make your own rules and go where you want to go and try and see what you want to see? Or do you follow all the rules? Curious to see what other people do. Uh, we've got some friends that we travel with that are uh, even further outside of the box than we are when it comes to not listening to the rules. And what is this? 
do this, don't do this. I don't know what any of that says. I think it says, just park here. You're good. You're gangster. Let's go. Yeah. She just translated one of the signs. Thank you, Google. Uh, thank you, Google. And basically says, if you violate these rules, one of which is explicitly do not drive down this road. If you remember from a couple seconds ago, we were driving down the road all the way to the freaking castle. Um, if you violate these rules, they can fine you up to 2,000 Swiss francs, which right now is about $2,100. Give or take some change. Oh, goodness gracious. Hopefully where we parked now, we can avoid those types of fines, maybe, hopefully. Ah, yeah, views are worth it though. Holy smokes. All right, that one I can understand. Don't touch the fence. We'll zap you. We got friends. There's the castle from the backside. Holy smokes. Got its own vineyard. Like, this is unfreaking real. I'm trying to figure out which way to go. If we go down this way, or if we go up that way. Like I said, the views are ever changing here. You can make three steps, and like a whole new world opens up to you. So we're just walking up, looking at that, and we're looking at that. You come up just a little bit, and bam. That's your new view. I just keep hoping that the GoPro footage does this place justice. All right, so that hotel that we mentioned that we saw that we wanted to stay at that was over two grand a night is right there on the very top of the hill. You take a boat, which is coming across now, the base. From there, there's a funicular that takes you up to there. That would be unreal. We're trying to make it. We keep getting distracted, but we're almost there. There's a hut down there that we want to make it to. But honestly, I just keep stopping and looking around. It's, it's amazing. All right, we found our way into this little hut, which is full of graffiti, which is a shame. And I actually think the view we had uh, from back where we showed you before was a little bit better. But this is what we got from here. This is the Megahorn Lookout, which I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, but what is Scandria. Hey. And I think there's another storm rolling in at us right there. So I think we should beat feet down this path and get to our car. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. We dodged the rain we, once. <laughs> yeah, we dodged it once. We can see it coming this time. It'd be advantageous to skedaddle. We got sprinkled on yesterday. Yeah, little baby sprinkles. No big deal. Coming back around down a different path than we went up castle off on that side and then to me that's kind of where the view starts to go away because once you pan over the whole side of the mountain is all built up with big buildings and about to catch the sun going down but we need to get to dinner we don't even know what's on their menu hopefully it's good uh, i looked at it earlier what's on there different things different things different things are we not gonna like it I've already picked out something i could like you huh. might have harder time <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> I am picky when it comes to food. I'll open the menu and I'll be to see you. Oh no, this is not good, guys. <laughs> well, we made it back just after the sun went down. She's out there taking nighttime pictures. We just got back from dinner and tired. It is uh, 5 after 11 and I don't have good lighting in here, so such is life. I actually had to wear a button-up shirt for the first time on vacation. All right, so joke's on me. GoPro said 11%, I laughed at it, it shot off. Wouldn't turn back on, had to go grab another battery. Forgot to look at the kilometer log on the car today uh, at the end to see what we had, but we'll check it first thing in the morning before we leave. I wanna say it was right around 200, 210, right around there, but it was a phenomenal day. Could not ask for a better way to you know, end the trip uh, is this place is just stunning. Uh, the views from dinner were amazing. Um, the food was great. The company was fantastic. <laughs> we, <laughs> I may have drank too much wine at dinner. Um, I did not. That did, she had one glass. One glass. I thought I had four glasses. I got the bill. I had five glasses. <laughs> eh, it happens. It was a long dinner. Two, what I say it is, 11 o'clock was two and a half hour dinner. That's not, that's not that bad, right? But we will catch up with you guys in the morning uh, on our way to Zurich Airport. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Um, we got about a 
depending on traffic, 50 minutes hour drive to get to the airport in the morning. So that's not, a- that's not bad. We'll have time to get breakfast, shower, clean up. We'll pack tonight and unfortunately be headed back, back home. Boo. Phenomenal trip though. Toodaloo, Matachukas. We will see you manana.